here today before the court on uh, count one as aggravated manslaughter of a child. Now at five, a troubling story from Broward where a father and mother are charged in the death of their one year old child. Deputies say the little boy died from a deadly mix of drugs, including fentanyl. CBS 4's Peter Dent joins us live from the home where it happened. And Peter, we understand the deaths actually occurred about three and a half months ago. That's right, Jim and Lauren. In fact, the arrests follow a lengthy investigation, dead investigation. Deputies actually responded to the home last September 24th and transported the child to a hospital where he died. BSO says he somehow ingested the drugs that led to his death. All I know is that when I come out the door, they, everybody was, uh, was, was, you know, they, the police was out there. Alvin Muff says he will not forget the day last September when BSO deputies responded to this Deerfield Beach home when a one-year-old boy was in medical distress. You know, it's, it's bad. You know, that's sad. You know, you don't want nothing to happen like that to a kid because I love all kids. The child died after being transported to a hospital. You're here today before the court on uh, count one as aggravated manslaughter of a child. Now 30-year-old Wendy Prevel and 33-year-old Shanika Dean are charged in the death of their son, Zaire Sinatus, after BSO says he ingested a lethal combination of drugs, including fentanyl. BSO says the parents failed to provide adequate care and supervision. In court, we learned that Prevel had been arrested before on drug charges. In 2014, Mr. Prevel was convicted of possession of heroin with intent to sell or distribute. It's not clear exactly when or how the child ingested this potentially lethal and deadly drug. However, uh, it's clear from the investigation that the child was exposed to fentanyl while inside the residence. BSO spokesman Kerry Cott says authorities are alarmed by this case. As a parent, you have a responsibility to provide a safe and protected place for your child. In this instance, investigators believe that that failed. Uh, this pair is accused of a very serious crime. Uh, this is a heartbreaking and tragic situation that this child was exposed to a drug that was so potentially lethal and deadly. Now, the state had been asking for a bond of $500,000. It was raised from $100,000 to $175,000. The Mueller has bonded out. Coming up at 6 in just one hour, we'll have more details about the father's criminal history. We are live at Deerfield Beach. Peter Nench, CBS 4 News.